Arizona Republican gubernatorial nominee Carrie Lake has found herself in a neck-and-neck -neck race and is now blasting the state she wants to govern, calling it a banana republic. Her grievance is based on the fact that not all midterm votes have been counted yet. Banana republic is a derogatory and many argue racist term that ties back to imperialist white supremacy. Lake, a Trump-endorsed ultra-MAGA election denier who fully supports his big lie, spoke on Newsmax Thursday. Let's take a look. This is just an embarrassment, and the people of Arizona are sick and tired of elections being run like we're in some banana republic, and we won't have it anymore. We're going to win this. Everybody in this state knows we're going to win it. I was running against a basement candidate who didn't even campaign, didn't debate, and the people didn't vote for her. There was zero excitement, and this is ridiculous. Lake is currently trailing her Democratic opponent, Katie Hobbs, with an estimated 400,000 ballots still outstanding. Election officials announced Thursday that they expect tabulation to continue into the weekend. Lake, a former news anchor herself, has made many television appearances since Tuesday, claiming her victory is 100% certain and saying, quote, We're going to win this. Everybody in the state knows we're going to win it. Her opponent, Hobbs, responded to her claims in a tweet, saying this election will be determined by the voters, not by the volume at which an unhinged former television reporter can shout conspiracy theories. One local columnist thinks the GOP candidates complaining need to grow up. At the Arizona Republic, columnist Lori Roberts wrote, Oh, grow up, candidates. There's a reason Arizona election results are taking forever. Do you need a timeout? That's what I used to ask my toddler sons when they'd throw themselves onto the floor kicking and screaming because they didn't get their way. Roberts also mocked Lake, seemingly suggesting she does not know how the government of the state she wants to run works. She explains, for the adults in the room, what's happening now with the delay in counting was entirely expected. It's the product of close races and an early ballot system created by Republicans and run by Republicans. Lake is also receiving public rebuke from the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors Chairman Bill Gates. During the same Newsmax interview, Lake complained that Maricopa County poll workers were slow rolling. Gates told reporters Thursday, Quite frankly, it is offensive for Carrie Lake to say that these people behind me are slow rolling this when they're working 14 to 18 hours. I really hope that this is the end of that now. We can be patient and respect the results when they come out. Local Maricopa columnist Phil Boas of the Arizona Central began sounding the alarm Wednesday that Republican voters may not accept the results of the midterm election if Carrie Lake is not victorious. According to him, Republican voters are furious. Add to that Carrie Lake's foolish declaration that she has already won and we're looking at a potential crisis. If she loses, her voters will be incandescent. Stay tuned for updated election results out of Arizona and Nevada that will likely determine which party controls the Senate. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com, stay informed, and tap low to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.